Welcome to the world of The Mary Tyler Moore Show, a television classic that made waves in the 1970s. Whether you first tuned in during its original run or discovered it later through reruns, the sitcom has left an indelible mark on the landscape of American television. Perhaps you, like many others, found yourself captivated by the show's relatable characters and its groundbreaking portrayal of an independent, career-driven woman in Mary Richards. As we delve into the charm of the Mary Tyler Moore show, consider this. When was the first time you witnessed the wit and humor that unfolded in Mary's newsroom? Can you recall a personal story of how this series, with its mix of laughter and life lessons, might have inspired or impacted your own journey? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and let's celebrate the enduring legacy of this iconic show together. Now, let's set the stage with some random facts about The Mary Tyler Moore Show. Created by James L. Brooks and Alan Burns, the series ran from 1970 to 1977 and became a trailblazer for portraying a single, career-focused woman as the central character. Mary Tyler Moore's portrayal of Mary Richards earned her three primetime Emmy Awards, and the show itself won a total of 29 Emmy Awards during its seven-season run. It was a groundbreaking sitcom that tackled social issues, all while delivering laughs in the bustling newsroom of WJN-TV in Minneapolis. Before we explore your most cherished memories or personal experiences with The Mary Tyler Moore Show, consider these facts as a nod to the impact and influence this series had on television history. We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Share your connection to this timeless sitcom that continues to resonate with audiences across generations. So, what's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to The Mary Tyler Moore Show? We're eager to hear your anecdotes and reflections. Drop them in the comments below and let's keep the conversation going. The Mary Tyler Moore Show, which aired from 1970 to 1977, is a classic television series that revolutionized the sitcom landscape. Created by James L. Brooks and Alan Burns, the show originated from the character Mary Richards, played by Mary Tyler Moore, who navigates the challenges of being a single career woman in Minneapolis. Mary, a compassionate and independent associate producer at WJM-TV, became an emblematic figure for the changing social dynamics of the 1970s. The series featured a memorable ensemble cast, including Ed Asner as the gruff but lovable Lou Grant, Valerie Harper as Mary's best friend Rhoda Morgenstern, and Betty White as the charming, and Nave Sue Ann Nivens. What set the Mary Tyler Moore show apart was its nuanced exploration of the evolving roles of women in the workforce and its realistic portrayal of relationships. The show's unique blend of humor, heart, and progressive themes made it a cultural touchstone. Mary's spunky spirit and the camaraderie among the characters created an on-screen chemistry that resonated with audiences. The series garnered critical acclaim and numerous awards, including 29 primetime Emmy Awards during its run. Beyond its immediate success, the Mary Tyler Moore show left an enduring impact on popular culture. It paved the way for future sitcoms centered on strong, independent female characters and set a new standard for quality writing and character development in television. Mary Tyler Moore's portrayal of Mary Richards remains an iconic representation of the modern working woman, and the show's legacy endures as a timeless example of how television can both reflect and influence societal norms. Ed Asner's portrayal of Lou Grant in The Mary Tyler Moore Show earned him the Best Supporting Actor for a Comedy Series Emmy Award. Remarkably, Asner went on to win the Best Lead Actor for a Drama Series Emmy for playing the same character in the spin-off series, Lou Grant. This unique accomplishment makes him the only actor to clinch both awards for portraying the same character in both comedy and drama. Asner's versatile performance added depth to the character of Lou Grant contributing to the show's success and cultural impact. The iconic opening credits of the Mary Tyler Moore Show, featuring Mary Tyler Moore tossing her hat into the air, were shot at 7th Street and Nicollet Mall in downtown Minneapolis. This memorable scene, captured near the corner of 7th Street, became a symbol of the show's spirit. Interestingly, several shots in the opening credits, such as riding an escalator and window shopping, were filmed within a one-block radius of this location. In May 2002, TV Land paid tribute by erecting a statue of Mary Tyler Moore near the spot, facing the opposite direction. 
This unique choice of filming locations reflects the show's connection to Minneapolis and adds an authentic touch to its representation of Mary Richards' life at WJMTV News. The station, owned by Wild Jack Monroe, provides the backdrop for Mary's journey as a single career woman navigating the challenges of the 1970s workplace. The careful selection of Minneapolis locales for the opening credits showcases the attention to detail that contributed to the Mary Tyler Moore Show's lasting impact. The show's commitment to realism, combined with its exploration of evolving gender roles, set a new standard for television in the 1970s. This glimpse into the behind-the-scenes choices made in the show's production adds an intriguing layer to its legacy. The Mary Tyler Moore Show, with its distinct blend of authenticity and social commentary, remains a classic example of how television can shape and reflect societal norms. Gavin MacLeod and Cloris Leachman, who portrayed Murray Slaughter and Phillies Lindstrom on The Mary Tyler Moore Show, had a complicated relationship off-screen. Unlike their on-screen camaraderie, MacLeod and Leachman were not close in real life, mirroring the tension between their characters. Their history dated back to prior collaborations, marked by a difficult experience that left Leachman uncomfortable with MacLeod during the initial seasons of the show. Despite this rocky start, the two eventually developed a friendship as the series progressed. This behind-the-scenes dynamic adds an intriguing layer to the on-screen chemistry viewers witnessed, highlighting the complexities that can exist beyond the scripted lines. It's a testament to the actors' professionalism that they overcame personal differences to deliver memorable performances, contributing to the lasting impact of the Mary Tyler Moore show in the realm of television. The Mary Tyler Moore Show, a groundbreaking sitcom from 1970, not only left a lasting impact on television, but also set the stage for the successful careers of its male cast members. After the show wrapped, all the men in the cast went on to star in their own hit shows. Gavin MacLeod headlined The Love Boat, a top-rated show for several years. Ed Asner took on the lead role in the MTM, spin-off Lou Grant, which also enjoyed sustained success in the top 30. Ted Knight found success in Too Close for Comfort, another popular show that ran for several years. The fact that all the male cast members transitioned to successful solo projects speaks volumes about the talent assembled in The Mary Tyler Moore Show and its impact on the television landscape. This success was not limited to the performances. The Mary Tyler Moore Show also holds the record for the most primetime Emmy Awards for outstanding writing for a comedy series, with an impressive total of five awards. This recognition highlights the exceptional writing and storytelling that contributed to the show's enduring appeal. Interestingly, the casting of Ed Asner as Lou Grant almost took a different turn. During auditions, both Gavin MacLeod and Edward Asner tried out for the role of Lou Grant. Asner's first reading was reportedly so subpar that he insisted on a second chance, ultimately securing the role. This behind-the-scenes glimpse into the casting process adds a layer of intrigue to the show's development and showcases the critical decisions that shaped its success. In conclusion, the Mary Tyler Moore show not only provided a platform for its cast to launch successful individual careers, but also garnered critical acclaim for its outstanding writing. The show's legacy is not just in its on-screen impact, but also in the choices made behind the scenes that contributed to its enduring success. As we bid adieu to the timeless charm of the Mary Tyler Moore Show, let's take a moment to acknowledge the profound impact it has had on our lives. This iconic 1970s series wasn't just about the witty banter or Mary's radiant smile. It was a mirror reflecting the changing tides of society and a celebration of the resilient spirit. As you reminisce about Mary's spunk, lose bluster, or the quirky newsroom dynamics, consider the threads that connect you to this classic gem. Did it inspire your career choices, or perhaps its humor provided a comforting backdrop to your life's ups and downs? The Mary Tyler Moore Show wasn't just a show, it became a part of our stories. Now, I invite you to share your cherished memories and thoughts about this remarkable series. What moments made you laugh until tears rolled down your cheeks? Which characters felt like old friends, always ready with a witty remark or a shoulder to lean on? Your reflections add depth to the collective narrative of The Mary Tyler Moore Show and ensure its legacy lives on. Thank you for joining us on this journey down memory lane where the hat tosses and newsroom camaraderie will forever echo.
Your connection to this series is a testament to its enduring magic. Share your thoughts, relive the laughter, and let the Mary Tyler Moore Show continue to weave its timeless tale in the tapestry of your memories. Appreciate your time and interest in revisiting this television treasure, and until next time, keep tossing your hat high in the spirit of Mary's unbridled joy.